Hello, you Linux-loving miscreants, In this quick and dirty how-to, we are definitely going to do something that used to drive me up the wall back when I had a cheap $60 four-channel mixer. I could never get the levels for our vocals right for the podcast. You know, sometimes I would be way too loud, and then I'd be real quiet. Then Jordan, same thing. Then when you have three people, it can just be a nightmare because you're recording to just the stereo pair and... Trying to get that balanced out could drive you insane. Now, we're going to be doing this with Audacity with a plugin called Level Speech. It's really easy to set up, and you might be familiar with a Windows plugin that's been around for a long time called the Level Later. Now it's the Level Later 2, which does work with Wine, but while it is capable of working similar miracles, I find it um, just a bit of a sledgehammer. It's a the, the effects. A little too harsh and it doesn't come across quite as natural as the level speech plugin with audacity which is going to keep you native and you don't have to worry about any incompatibilities running something through wine which i always see as a plus so let's jump into it see how it works hey beautiful people um we are going to be doing a quick and dirty way of leveling audio now if you have a you're recording a podcast you and your friends and all that, and not everybody's quite lined up. This is a very easy way to fix that. Um, let me give uh, you an example. Like, did anyone see uh, where Strider and Pedro's at a pretty decent level? <laughs> Bugs since October. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I, I. Let's take oh, that down. Week, I told everyone. You can see. I set up Curl 5.3. I'm a bit Love quieter it. than. <laughs> Uh, closing the G damn door. Get a little, just a little <laughs> bit louder. This is not a terrible example, and no humble brag. I don't have a terrible example because I've mixed this down to two tracks. We do multi-track recording, but we're gonna fix this um, by heading over to wiki.audacityteam.org and downloading the Level Speech plugin. Now. If you're new to Linux, and you're wondering how you get that installed. Uh, the easiest way to do it per user is to dump it in your .audacity-data directory under plugins. You can see I have AGC, Level Speech, and Noise Gate all saved there. And step two, after we have that together, we need to enable the plugin. With Audacity, you just go to Effects, Add Remove Plugins, and we are going to come down and go right by it. Level speech. There it is. And you can see and that's where we've installed it. And we're going to click enable and we are good to go. Now you could possibly achieve similar effects with using like normalization or compression. This is just a, like I said, a quick and dirty way to get things done. If you're familiar with a level later, like on windows, it's very similar to that. It's kind of brutal, but it gets the job done nonetheless. So, Let's get both tracks highlighted, and it's going to be at the bottom here in your plugins 15 through 22, cleverly disguised under level speech. Simple to use. Again, it's kind of a brute force way of doing this. Decent results, though. Your two options, leveling amount, that's how much it's going to bring it up, and your threshold uh, for your noise floor, that's minus 20. That's where I have mine set, and the leveling amount, I usually go between 30 and 35% if I'm using this particular tool. Um, that'll give me an end result somewhere around minus nine, yeah, minus nine to minus six dB. So let's run this and we will see the end result. And we're done. Um, just looking at the waveform, you can tell everything's smashed down and lined up quite a bit. Double so if we look at the um, dB setup uh, for the waveforms. Let's give it a listen. Uh, Linux is starting to, it's nowhere near there, but we're starting to. Yep. Right around minus really nine. Good. I don't really <laughs> use it. <laughs> I forget exactly what it did that sent me off that made me stop using it. Pretty decent. Silicon based keyboard, which I wish they weren't using silicon for the keyboard. <laughs> Never been a fan. Doing a good job. More than one of them. Black magic. So hopefully that'll be helpful uh, if you're doing podcast or recording anything and you want to bring all the levels really smashed down into the same area. This will do it. It's open source. It's free. All right.
That wasn't so bad, was it? I mean, relatively straightforward. We got in, we did that, set it up. You saw the effects. Uh, Really to the point, we do multi-track recording now, and that's definitely something I'm going to be covering in the future. This is just kind of geared to everyone who's starting out like we were, you know, seven years ago. And you just have those two tracks to work with. Hopefully that's going to make your life a little bit easier. I know uh, I wish I had the tool way back when. Um, quite happy with the results. Go try it out. Make something awesome. And if you're digging this, we want to keep on doing it uh, really with the audio and video production guides. I'm going to start cranking these out kind of regularly. If you want to support that, that'd be cool, man. Um, share the video, like, subscribe, visit our web soon, and uh, join us on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Linux Seamcast. That uh, keeps this train rolling. All right, that's brilliant. Gotta get out of here. Cheers.